Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerman, and you are watching Chad Chat. Today's question comes from a viewer who is having a little bit of issue with the creative process of screenwriting for a cartoon. I'm hoping that this Chad Chat will help him and other users out who have similar questions. So with that said, let's get started. So today's question comes from Emmerich, and he writes, I want to ask you some questions about character and animation story. Do you have any recommendations regarding these two subjects? I am talking about a creative point of view, personality, etc., not the software part. A story subject is easy to get, but the way you develop that story should be the key. The same with the characters as well. I was probably thinking you could have some recommendations on speeches, webinars, books, etc. And that is his question in regards to story development for your cartoons. So first, I will say this. When it comes to writing out a cartoon, there really is no right or wrong way. Some people spend a lot of time pre-planning before they even begin writing. Taking notes, making outlines, making a character bible for their characters, and so on. The um, possibilities there are endless. Other people just jump right in and start writing and see what they come up with. So as far as how you plan out the initial writing stage, that really depends on you as far as how you plan and how you, I guess, process information. So now the question comes to how do you develop your characters? How do you get to that creative process where you have the characters seem lifelike so that you can um, look at the characters and feel for them or you can laugh at them? Well. That, again, it's kind of hard to um, put into exact terms, but I'll just put it to you this way. I, um, even though it's, I guess, a cliche to say, I always go with the thought of you write what you know. And that's not so much of, that's not quite what it seems when I say it like that, you write what you know. Sometimes it's more accurate to say you write what you want to know or what you want to learn to know. So research can really help you when it comes to character creation, character development. Let's say you have a character who is a World War II veteran. Well, it's probably a good assumption to say that you were not in World War II. However, you may know people like um, a grandfather, grandmother, or other relatives, or people like friends of family that were in World War II. And you could interview them, get research there, and try to get some accurate traits implemented into that character. For instance, when it comes to me, when I created my Mr. Benick's class series, I based my teacher character, Mr. Benick, off of an actual teacher I had when I was in high school. I then took liberties, extreme liberties I should say, um, he's not anything like he was in real life, and I really wish he was, he would have been a lot of fun if he would, if he would have been like that. But um, I took liberties, and for the new series, I put the teacher in a grade school, and I made the situations a bit more wacky than they probably um, would be in real life. And because of that, too, I also took inspiration from other creations, like South Park. Um, that was a big, I guess, inspiration, mainly due to the setting. You have these little kids in a classroom, you have an eccentric teacher, and all those elements you know, derive from South Park. They don't blatantly copy, but it's grabbing inspiration from that source. So when it comes to character development and um, character creation, character stories, and so on, I would say it's good to grab from what you know or to pick it up and research. Um, and that goes for any story element. Again, if something is foreign to you, you want to learn about it as much as possible so that it becomes convincing to your audience. And the same goes, and this is another question I get as well, um, what is funny? How do I create something that's funny? How do I create something that makes people laugh? Well, the uh, key there, I would say, is to write something that you think is funny and not to worry about what the audience go is going to think that is funny because it's near impossible to determine what an individual that you don't know is going to find funny. And you'll spend all your time speculating and revamping and tweaking and by the time you're done what you have is no longer funny. At the very least if you create a cartoon that is funny 
at least one person will find it funny and that's you. And that is a big step because you should be proud of the work that you output. So hopefully some of that um, kind of gets you in the right direction um, of tr you know thinking about your characters and your stories and how you can develop them. Now with the small time frame I have in this chat chat it's kind of hard to crunch everything in but one more thing I will point out is that and this is kind of a good way to think about it I would say when you are developing your stories when you're creating your stories for your characters their adventures and so on when you start out with a story the possibilities for that story are absolutely endless the character can do anything the characters can go anywhere the story can take you anywhere however as you continue on and you break everything down and you keep um, pushing the characters on this path their options start to become more limited because as you push the story in one direction all of those other elements start to close off certain story um, branches are no longer available so as you keep going through the story the um, window of view becomes more narrow and so by the time you get to a certain point in the story the character has very few options as where to go and that's usually what leads you to the inciting incident which causes the character then to basically have a make or break decision um, and after that they cannot go back from that decision so there are many elements there as far as creating a flow of a story and it's very important too um, especially when you are writing out your story that you understand the acts yet you understand you know where to place that climax so that it's satisfying for all the people involved okay maybe that was a bad way to word it but I'm um, creating you know those events that come to you know a big explosive point okay I'm not really helping myself out here when I'm saying all that anyway the point is creating elements that work well together is key when writing your screenplay and unfortunately I can't cover it all within this short chat chat however I am now teaching online classes through the eProf system and I think that this is a subject that I get many questions about and I think it may be a subject I could teach whether it's individual classes or an entire course covering the subject now I welcome um, to do that I would love to do that because I think we could get some nice classroom discussions going on character development screenplay development and hopefully get some people steered in the right direction as to how to develop these things so if taking an online class which is kind of the answer to your last question here if taking an online class for this stuff is of interest to you please let me know comment on the YouTube section below go to my website you can discuss it there and just tell me what you would like to see if you are interested in an online class what subjects would you like me to cover what would you like to discuss then you'll get the benefit of knowing what to do when it comes to developing your screenplays so please do that because I'm looking for new ideas for my classes and these classes are for you guys and I want to tailor them to your needs so anyway that concludes this week's chat chat if you have any more questions regarding um, screenplay writing or if you have any more questions regarding animation flash anime studio please visit the official chad chat website at chadchat.incrediblettutorials.com you can fill out the question form there and leave me a question or comment I'm also on YouTube which is where I'm broadcasting this awesome video right now so you can go there and leave comments in the comment sections of my videos or you can write to me personally I have an incredible tutorials Facebook page so you can um, like that and comment and ask questions there. I am also on Google Plus, Twitter, and Pinterest. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave your comments and tell me what you want to see from an upcoming class if that is of interest to you. And I'll see you guys next time.